Hello, how's it going? In today's video, I'm covering Stranger from Beyond, the Council's Suspicions, and the Dark Portal from Chronicle Volume 2. So let's go! Medivh observed as the Orcs edged closer to self-destruction. Blackhand was growing increasingly annoyed by Gul'dan's lack of solutions or answers, and Gul'dan knew pretty soon Blackhand's gonna kill me. However, that won't happen, so don't worry about it. Medivh showed himself to Gul'dan and the Shadow Council, and Gul'dan was a little bit startled by this. He lashed out with the full might of his foul powers. Now it would be pretty funny if Medivh died from that, but he was fine. He turned the spell back on Gul'dan and made it a pretty painful ordeal. He had no respect for the Warlock. This creature had already sold out his entire race. Gul'dan wasn't a huge fan at this moment. The entire Shadow Council had just seen him kneel before this mysterious stranger. He was kind of embarrassed and insulted and wouldn't forgive or forget this anytime soon. But Medivh didn't give a crap. He informed the Orcs that if they built a vast magic portal, they could escape this dying world. This gateway would take them to a bountiful new world, which they could conquer. Visions appeared in the Orcs' minds of Azeroth, and they bloody loved it. Pristine rivers, plenty of food, it was glorious. Gul'dan had sent something demonic inside this stranger. He decided that probably meant he spoke on behalf of Sargeras. This must be why Kil'jaeden buggered off. The Legion were preparing to send another messenger, and Gul'dan, being the selfish knob that he is, went ahead and demanded payment for his assistance. What would he receive for helping this stranger build a portal to conquer Azeroth? So Medivh flooded his mind with visions of ancient underwater ruins. Since the Tomb of Sargeras was at the bottom of the ocean and reinforced with Aegwin's guardian powers, it wasn't even like Gul'dan would be able to do anything with it anyway. So he promised the Warlock that if they helped him, he'd reveal the exact location of the tomb and Gul'dan could help himself to his extraordinary powers. So Gul'dan informed Blackhand of this new development if they wanted to build this portal, they'd need to tap into a point where the Draenei's magical ley lines met. They settled on an area at the eastern edge of Hellfire Peninsula and began constructing an enchanted stone frame. This would become known as the Dark Portal. Medivh's occasional trips to Draenor obviously led to absences from Azeroth, and these absences were noticed, mainly by nobles and entertainers who had come to Karazhan for various parties and stuff. The Council of Tirisfal heard about these disappearances, and this was intriguing. The parties gave Medivh the appearance of being an immature young man, living a life of luxury. But he wasn't going to the parties, so if he wasn't interested in that materialistic lifestyle, what the bloody hell is he really doing? So, they asked Kirin Tor Magi to infiltrate Karazhan, and find out. Some used the old trick of posing as guests during the parties, whilst others attempted to open portals directly into the tower's libraries. Neither method was successful. Medivh made sure that these magi would return home safe, but disappointed. He knew these folks were Kirin Tor, but were definitely acting on behalf of the council. Their meddling wasn't acceptable. Something needed to be done. In one week, four members of the council were found dead. There was no evidence of Medivh's involvement, no sign that arcane power had been used at all. In fact, Medivh had been seen every night at his parties. It wasn't possible for him to be committing these murders. The council were a little bit suspicious, but they couldn't bring themselves to believe that Medivh had fallen so far as to murder fellow mages. So they stopped spying on him and focused their efforts on trying to figure out who was targeting them. And Medivh was now free to continue his grand plan. Meanwhile, the Dark Portal was taking shape. Gul'dan urged Blackhand to strengthen the clans in preparation for their upcoming invasion. So the Warchief staged mock battles and duels between the Orcs. Juritan watched as the Orcs reveled in combat once again and decided, you know what, enough of this. So the Frostwolf Chieftain began speaking out against Gul'dan and against Fell Magic. Most Orcs viewed this as an act of treason and cowardice, so they started lashing out against the Frostwolves. Gul'dan didn't have to try very hard to stop Juritan's words from having any real effect. The world was dying, and this was their only option for survival, and most of the Orcs were just really looking forward to slaughtering again. Once the portal was built, Gul'dan would work with Medivh to open it. The Warlock would conduct a ritual on his end, Medivh would do the same on the Azeroth side, in an isolated swamp east of Karazhan, known as the Black Morass. The amount of energy required was large, and would require both to pull their magic together. But even that wasn't enough. Every Draenei prisoner that still lived was brought to the base of the Dark Portal. Gul'dan drained all of their life essences in an instant, and that massive spike of power sort of jump-started the whole thing. And a bridge between Draenor and Azeroth was formed. Members of the Bleeding Hollow and Blacktooth Grin clans were sent first as scouts, accompanied by some warlocks. They quickly established a camp in the Black Morass and constructed a frame around the gateway on the Azeroth side in order to stabilize it. Somewhere, a powerful mage had felt a ripple when the gateway had opened. Aegwyn, and she is going to investigate what the bloody hell is going on in the next video. And we're leaving it there! In the next Volume 2 video, Medivh is going to clash with his mummy, and then he's going to have a different sort of clash with Garona. As always, thanks very much to those of you who support the channel as patrons. Links in the description for the Patreon page if anyone's interested. If you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, all of that bollocks. And all that's left to say is, thanks for watching, and see ya!